What's going on guys, Trippy here again, and I'm giving you guys another transition tutorial, and this is going to be, um, uh, for, uh, for skill level, this should be around, you know, easy to medium. Um, this isn't too hard, uh, but, uh, this is going to be a, another slight transition, I told you guys how, I told you guys I was going to upload another one, um, tomorrow or, or the day after or whatever, and this is what it's going to look like, so you guys can see right here, it's, um, kind of like, um, like slides uh, uh, downward like really fast and then uh, fades into the, next, to the next one there's like a little bit of like distortion and colorizing going on and I'm gonna give you guys a full um, a full time or real time pre uh, RAM preview so yeah that's uh, it looks pretty nice uh, it's a little bit too slow for my for my taste um, I'm, but I'll show you guys how to make it faster to make it look um, a bit more nice so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna delete this adjustment layer and uh, delete these keyframes and just like usual you for transitions you want to have two over overlapping clips you know maybe by like half a second or something like that and i'm going to go and you want to make a new adjustment layer and i'm going to trim up this adjustment layer a little bit um because that's what i like to do with transitions um with adjustment layers so i'm going to um, click alt begin bracket and then alt and bracket. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to your effects and presets and type in offset and drag that onto your adjustment layer. And um, at the beginning, you would not notice anything different about your clip. Um, that's because you have the keyframes, uh, keyframes and stuff. So you want to go to the beginning of your adjustment layer, uh, keyframe your shift center to, and go to the end and go to the y axis where it says or the second number value and you can uh you can keyframe this and you can move it uh manually by moving it up and down or whatever i'm not going to do that this is a much easier way is what i like to do is keep the 360 but afterward um do the little like little asterisk or the star thing like pr like hold down shift and press 8 to get the little asterisk uh, sign and um you want to type in a an odd number and last time I did seven and it was too slow, so I'm gonna do nine and so make it a little faster. And basically what that does is it times it by nine and uh, and it will it's just an easier way of timesing it by uh, by that that number of, uh, times nine and after effects. Um, so right here you guys will see um, it does uh, what I showed you before, but what I don't like it about it right now is that you guys can see it kind of like jumps um, to the next clip and I talked about this before. I do not like jump clips. Um, um, like just it just looks plain and stupid. So what I want to do is I want to go to um, the middle of the second clip, and I want to click it and click T for opacity, and click the stopwatch and go back to be the um, the beginning or around the beginning of the clip, and set this opacity down to zero. So there's a little fade in as it gets faster and it looks a bit a little bit more nicer. I think I might spread this out a little bit more. <coughs> So right now it looks, um, it looks, it's getting better. I like the way it looks now. Um, but to make it more realistic is I'm gonna add some blurs. And since this is an adjustment layer, not and since the actual layers aren't moving, you can't add a, a just a real blur. Um, so what you wanna do is uh, click on the adjustment layer, and we're gonna uh, manually add our blur. So we're gonna go and type in directional blur in your effects and presets. And drag it onto your adjustment layer. <coughs> Go to the beginning of your adjustment layer, right about here, and uh, click your stopwatch for your blur length. Uh, blur length. Go to the, to the middle of your uh, adjustment layer and bring it up to about 50. I wouldn't go higher than 50 because 50 is pretty intense. You guys can see right here, it's pretty intense. Can't really see what's going on. And then go to the end of your adjustment layer and bring that down to zero again. So it kind of like what's going on is it gets it gets blurry towards the middle and it gets less blurry towards the end and so that is pretty much it you can do you can you can stop here uh, but what I like to do to make it look more glitchy is I like to add on some curves uh, just like how you saw before you it got like a little like red um, at the at, like when it started uh, like moving or whatever so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that I'm gonna type in curves and drag it onto my adjustment layer <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the beginning of it again and uh, click a stopwatch on curves and what we're going to do is go towards the middle of the adjustment layer again and we're going to go in we're going to bring the uh, the brightness up and then uh, maybe add a, add a little bit more contrast to the, to the scene and then where it says RGB click on it um, I might change I did the red last time so I might just do the blue this time to make it like a little blue effect so I'm going to kind of edit it to make it look more blue or whatever 
You can do something crazy, I don't care. And then um, once you're done adding your color correction, go down to uh, or go to the end of the adjustment layer and go to where you made the points and just uh, click and drag off the, the little box thing and, the, and that will delete the little points you made. And actually I think if you do this, never mind, I was just joking. So yeah, just um, drag, drag, uh, drag those off, and it, it will delete those little things. So it makes it back to normal. So now I'm going to show you guys, uh, show you guys what it looks like now, and you guys can see right there. That looks pretty nice. It's a really nice transition. It kind of like, um, it looks like maybe like a TV glitching out or something like that. Um, it, you guys can see that it starts moving around. There's the distortion, and there's a little blue um, to make it uh, like look a little bit more glitchy, and then. It was back down to normal, and then you have your next clip. So yeah, um, that looks pretty nice. And again, keep a lookout for more transitions, more effects that I'm going to have uh, be putting up in the uh, next uh, week or so. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.